Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, we're going to look at hard drive space as it relates to Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website and be sure to join our free private Facebook group for our weekly live videos. A friend of mine recently commented to me that Lightroom was really slowing down for her, so I wanted to give her a few quick tips in order to speed things up. In order to access your preferences, press command comma on the Mac, that's control comma on the PC. The first thing I'd like you to do is jump over to the performance tab and make sure you have this unchecked unless you have a very new computer that can handle this upgraded accelerator. Then back on the general tab, we're going to go to the catalog settings and under file handling, you can see automatically discard one to one previews. Now I actually like to have this set to one day. So what happens is when you zoom in on a photograph and it takes a second to generate the preview, it is actually placing a file on your hard drive that takes up space. So if you had this set to never, you would have all of these one to one preview files on your hard drive eating your disk space. So typically, once I zoom in and check for a focus, I don't need to do it again. So I'm okay with Lightroom discarding these previews after one day, but the thing is, if I need to generate it again, I can do so on the fly just by zooming in. Now, let's jump over to the general tab inside of catalog settings. And I like to back up my catalog every time Lightroom exits. Well, at least Lightroom asks me, it prompts me, would you like to back up this catalog? And if I've done a lot of work that day, then the answer is yes. And if I haven't, I just skip it and close. However, it creates an exact duplicate of your current catalog on your hard drive. And right now my catalog is sitting at 76 megabytes, which means every backup is at least that size. If you're not sure where these catalog backups are, you can simply click show. And Lightroom took me over to Finder so I can see my 2016 client's catalog. I'm going to open that folder. I noticed that the backup folder was created automatically by Lightroom. I'm going to double click it. And now I can see all the backup catalogs I've created. But the reality is I really only need the most recent. If my catalog corrupts and I need to restore it, then I would want to pull the most recent, which is this one that I created on May 24th. So what I can do is just select the rest of these and delete them. And now I only have one backup catalog. These two quick tips will save you a lot of space on your hard drive. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.